Happy birthday, Melanie. You are one of my absolute favorite friends and neighbors here in the Brittany neighborhood. And I am just so thankful that God put us in your path. Um, so that we could have a little bit array of array of Melanie sunshine every once in a while. Um, Melanie, you just brighten up my days. You, you make me feel so loved and accepted and your cute little Southern Georgia accent just is so cute to me. And um, I thank you for, for, for raising some great children. All right, um, well, I have Cameron Burgundy here. What do you think about Melanie? When I think of Melanie Lipscomb, I can't help but think of a butterfly beauty. She's born a little caterpillar down in America, Georgia. It don't get more American than that, America's U.S. We got a United States president from there. She probably inspired him. Just like him, though, I knew that one day Melanie was going to flap those wings and fly far, far away. And before she became the socialite of Northern Buckhead that she is today, she went to blossom from a little girl to a woman. At a place known to do that to girls, Athens, GA. And it was there she met her hubba bubba. That's right. Matthew'd been fishing the ponds of Athens for four years looking for a prize catch. And then he saw that Melanie girl looking like a little innocent freshman guppy just waiting to get hooked. He got out his best rod, rod, reel and lures. He hooked her, he brought her in, and as soon as he got to know her, he knew one thing and one thing for sure. He got to mount that woman, stuff her, because the reason he was put on this earth was to make sure that there would be little Melanie Rugrats running all over God's green earth, and God bless him for that. Mama? They do make an amazing couple, and her children, Melanie's children, oh my. I mean, what more could you ask for? Damn straight. Her done babies grew up and watched my babies. I can't say enough about Annie Lipscomb. I recall a time she came over like a savior. I was about to lose my shit trying to do conference calls, manage poopy diapers with babies that were asking for their mama, and in came Annie like a ray of sunshine. She took care of everything just like her mama had taken care of her. And I know she's gonna grow up and be a really good mom one day too. You cannot ask for a better neighbor. Hell to the no! That lady's got water slides at her parties. I mean, are you kidding me? She's always smiling around, driving her Buick, waving at everybody. But we all know us neighbors talk. She's the Tesla of that family, I promise you that much. She is also so very thoughtful. You're darn tootin' she's thoughtful. Sometimes I walk in my kitchen, I see groceries on the counter. I don't know if my wife's been at Publix, Costco, or if Melly was, Melanie was just feeling generous that day. God bless her. And her heart explodes with kindness. Now y'all, I'm gonna tell you one thing and one thing for real. And I don't care what new service you subscribe to. That Melanie Lipscomb kindness is more contagious than the COVID-19. Ain't no cure for it, no way. Ain't gonna be no vaccine. I don't care if it's an hour and 18 months. You get within six feet of her or six counties, you gonna get infected by it. You gonna, you gonna get it. I promise you, you gonna get it. So Melanie, one other thing that I wanted to say is we are so grateful for the cookies and all the baked goods that you give us at Christmas. We love the Easter lily that you drop off. And as I said earlier, the ray of sunshine. And also when I think of you, I think about the perfect day on the beach. Like that is Melanie. Like you just want to be on the beach with her, sipping a fun beach drink, going walking up and down, a little breeze going. Like you're just like the perfect 
refreshing, rejuvenating day. She's like a cocktail. Yeah, she is. Well, I'll tell you all one final note. I hope the entire world will take their COVID mask off and breathe in the fresh in air, fresh air that's Melanie Lipscomb. Her family and her faith are unfound, unbelievable. And I'll tell you one final thing. There ain't no hand sanitizer is gonna wipe Melanie clean of what she does best, her God-given talent. And that's to love and to be loved. So happy birthday to my front yard mowing, weed picking mama. I hope you run for president someday. God bless you. You wanna go upstairs real quick, baby? <laughs> Adios.